So this year, the emergence that's coming out here is called the Great Southern Brood, and it's actually the largest geographically of any of the broods in the whole United States. My name is Stacy Jones. I work for NC State Cooperative Extension here in Bears County. We're really excited that this year, the uh, Cicada Brood XIX will be emerging. The last time they emerged was 13 years ago. We'll also be having the 17-year Cicada Brood XII emerging. The reason that it's so exciting is because it's the first time this has happened in over 200 years. The last time this happened, Thomas Jefferson was president and Lewis and Clark were out on their expedition. So you can see that cicadas have been found close to us uh, here, just south of Charlotte, and then over in the Uari National Forest. So I think that we should see some here in Concord. The difference between the annual cicada and the periodical cicada are the color and the size. So the annual cicada is a little smaller and it's got green here on the front of the body, on the wings and on the legs. And then this is the nymph right here. This is what you'll be looking for that'll be crawling out of the ground. There's nothing to worry about. They don't hurt people. They don't hurt pets. Sometimes your dogs can enjoy eating them, um, which might give them a bellyache if they eat too many but just you know, keep an eye on your dog and make sure that they're not eating them. But otherwise, they're safe for humans, they're safe for pets, um, they can't bite, they can't sting. The only thing that they can do is female, adult females lay eggs in branches of trees. If you have any young trees like apples or um, small shrubs, you may see some ovipositing damage from where the females are laying the eggs, but it really shouldn't be that bad. This is a great year for teaching kids about the outdoors. It's a great time to get kids outside um, looking at insects in general, but especially cicadas.